Well, this is some news that broke earlier this morning. The original owner of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, Vincent Namoli, has died. He was the vanguard behind bringing Major League Baseball to Tampa Bay. Without him, it may not have happened. The team plans to wear a jersey patch for the rest of this season to honor Namoli. There will also be a moment of silence Friday night at the drop. Namoli was 81 years old. Namoli was considered a hero in 1995 for his part in bringing our area a team. Back then, there was this boyhood kind of excitement when he was finally awarded a franchise. The Devil Rays were born three years later. Still alive and kicking, by the way, and fighting for a playoff spot. But how much longer will baseball be in the Bay Area? Nights, I suppose, Zimmer takes a look at what it will take to bring that excitement back and keep baseball here to stay for decades to come. Next March marks 25 years since the Tampa Bay area was first awarded Major League Baseball. If Major League Baseball was voted 28 to nothing to award expansion franchises to Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Phoenix, Arizona. This area fought hard to attract a team with the White Sox, Mariners, and San Francisco Giants all considering moves. We even built a stadium and then were passed over by Major League Baseball when they awarded expansion teams to Colorado and Miami. Then, finally, on March 9, 1995, Major League Baseball awarded another set of expansion teams, and this time it was Tampa Bay's turn. If there was a greater day in the history of Tampa Bay, I don't know what it was. I think this is the greatest day in the history of Tampa Bay. Oh, some people just went out of their minds. You know, they've been waiting forever. St. Pete's Chris Broody remembers when baseball first came to St. Pete and the face of the new franchise, the man who helped make it happen, owner Vince Namoli. Everybody loved him for bringing the team to town. Hip hip hooray. Vince did a lot of work to get the team here, so you got to hand it to him. He really went through a lot of work to get it here, and he got it here. So a lot of people admire him and appreciate him yeah. for that, you know. It's, it's actually, really, it's, it's crazy. It was right. actually a little harder than you think to find some people who remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. You went on a good search and you found them. I, I found some guys that were like, I wasn't even born yet. I was like, oh man. I was born. Yeah. Uh, crazy we're at this point though, Bo, where they now have the option in, in baseball. Look, the Rays are exploring a split city idea with Montreal. Stu Sternberg wants this to happen. How did we get here? Yeah, you'd have to wonder what Vince Namoli would be thinking about all this. You know, one of the reasons he put the team in St. Pete, that wasn't necessarily his top choice. He would have liked to have the team a little more centrally located, but he wanted uh, it in a viable location. We had the stadium there, and that's why they ended up at Tropicana Field. And we'll see what happens with the Rays down the road, but no question Vincent Namoli was a vanguard for baseball. That's how he'll be remembered.